hate crime suspects admit they are guilty tonight in a racist crime spree that shocked the country. It's all tied to the hate crime murder of James Craig Anderson, caught on tape back in 2011. Now, with 16 WABG's Tammy Essig reports, four years later, these two new suspects are admitting their roles. Tammy? Yeah, that's right, Megan. Those final suspects you're talking about, John Blalek and Robert Henry Rice, both face a minimum of 10 years in prison. Now, we spoke to the victim's sister after court. It has been a mighty, mighty good day, and we are so pleased with what is the outcome of this has been because we have been waiting for almost four years for justice for James Craig Anderson, and today justice was done for James Craig. Well, prosecutors say Blaylack and Robert Rice, seen here leaving court during lunch, are the ninth and tenth suspects associated with a group of people who targeted African Americans in Jackson. Blaylock pleaded guilty for his role in the death of James Craig Anderson, a black man. We have video from 2011 when members of that group beat him up. Then Daryl Dedman ran him over with a truck. Robert Rice was not there that night, but he pleaded guilty for his role in beating up a black man at a Jackson. And golf course in 2011. We spoke to prosecutors after the case. If James Craig Anderson had not been killed that night, do you think these teens would have continued going through Jackson and looking for African Americans to target? What we do know is that what actually brought this to the attention of the investigators was the death of Mr. Anderson. Because as we said, the people that they targeted were people who they determined to be either homeless or maybe under the influence of alcohol and people who were less likely to report these crimes. Do you think he's mentally prepared for all of this? Well, I, I think he has to be. He will be. It's difficult. He was 17 when all this happened and he's 20 now, so he's been dealing with it for three years. Well, the next phase in all of this is the sentencing phase. A federal judge will sentence Blaylack on April 23rd. Meanwhile, that same judge will sentence Rice on April the 30th. Live at the federal courthouse in downtown Jackson, Tammy Eslick, 16 WAPT News. Back to you guys in the studio. Okay, Tammy, thank you.